But no, essentially, you know, it's Essential Man here, so this is my predictions for Survivor Series 2020. This Survivor Series marks the 30th anniversary of the debut of The Undertaker. There are reports that Undertaker could show up for Survivor Series for this weekend. The last time we saw The Undertaker in WWE television was the Boneyard match against AJ Styles at WrestleMania 36 Part 1. So this Survivor Series is the typical Raw vs Smackdown Survivor Series, the battle of the brands. I know last year they did, you know, feuding with NXT. They've been doing it for four years. They've basically beaten it to death. You know, I wish they stopped doing it. You know, they never do invasions, you know. Um, they never, like, treat it like a brand war. Anyway, six matches on the show. No kickoff show match yet to confirm. I'm going to start with the Champions versus Champions match. We'll start with the Battle of the Mid-Card Champs. We've got the United States Champion Bobby Lashley, represent Raw, one quarter of the Hurt Business, taking on the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn of SmackDown. I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley again, the victory, because he's doing stuff with the Hurt Business. I like the Hurt Business, you know, Lashley, MVP, Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin. Sami Zayn, since he won the title at SummerSlam, he didn't really do nothing. He did not SummerSlam, but Class of the Champions, sorry. He didn't really do nothing as IC uh, champion. It's basically a title change of the sake of a title change, you know. I don't think he's part of this trio between him, Cesaro and Shinsuke. They could show up on this show. But I can see Sam again being down by the Hurt Business. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley being Sami Zayn. So moving on to the battle of the tag team champs. We've got the Raw Tag Team Champs, The New Day, that is Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, taking on the SmackDown Tag Team Champs, The Street Profits, that is uh, Mortez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. <laughs> I, I did a, a rant on Drew McIntyre winning the title. Uh, I brought up, you know, when New Day, Street Profits switched the belts together during the draft. I hate that. You know, it's just proving my point that championships in main roster WWE don't mean shit. You know, why they did this, you know, this tile change, switching the boat, the belts. I don't want to get into it. Don't want to get frustrated. I'm just talking about the matches on the show. Anyway, I do not like the New Day. Yeah, I know, you know, Big E is no longer with the group. But, come on guys, they're still doing it. They're still doing the New Day stuff. They've been doing it for uh, since 2014, six years, you know. Give it up, you know, the, the group is... Uh, stale. At this point, it's a tag team, but it's so super stale. Uh, the Street Profits, I do also do not like. They're basically a PG version of Crime Time, and also the try. They're basically a knockoff version of Private Party, the tag team from AEW. Random pick. I'm gonna go with the New Day getting the victory. So moving on to the battle of the women's champs. We got the Raw Women's Champion Asuka taking on the SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks. Empress versus the Boss. Did they have a match? I think they have a match. You know, it's you know um, because I think they they've been feuding since the summer. You know, they had a for I think like Sasha and Bailey beat the Kabuki Warriors for the Women's Tag Team Championship. Um, uh, this was I think they fought during the rivalry between Bailey and Asuka. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I can see Bailey interfered in this match. Boy, I like Asuka. I like Sasha Banks. But I want to say disqualification. It makes sense to further up the rivalry between Bailey and Sasha Banks. So, like, the blow off at TLC or maybe at the Rumble. You know, I don't mind a DQ. It could protect, it protect both Asuka and Sasha Banks for losing. Next match, we've got the Battle of the World Champs. We've got the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre taking on the Universal Champion Roman Reigns. The Scotsman versus the Samoan. Uh, I did a rant on Tuesday when Drew McIntyre defeated Randy Orton on Raw before Survivor Series for the title. I was never like effing and jeffing. I was a little bit mad. You know, it's just typical WWE bullshit. Don't want to get into it. Uh, Roman Reigns, I like. I like the heel Roman, you know, since he turned him heel in the summer. You know, become the tribal chief. He's on his career renaissance. You know, he had two good matches with Jey Uso 
at Clash of the Champions and Hell in a Cell. I'm going to go with a Roman Reigns victory. I can see Randy Orton interfering in this match. I can see Carson Drew the, the win. Basically, you know, referee bomb, RKO out of nowhere, Roman. Next match, we've got the women's 5 on 5 Survivor Series match. We've got Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Represent Team Raw. We've got the women's tag team champions, Nia Jax, Shanna Baszler, Peyton Royce, Lana, and Lacey Evans. Represent Team SmackDown. we got Bianca Blair, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and two more members of Team SmackDown yet to be confirmed. It's going to be Natalia and Tamina. I don't want to get into it. I'm going to go with Team SmackDown defeating Team Raw. You know, I do not like Team Raw. I know the original two members of Team Raw, it was supposed to be Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke, but they took them out of the, the teams and replacement are Peyton Royce and Lacey Evans. I understand Dana Brooke, you know, Dana Brooke is Dana Brooke, you know, she's alright, but she's bland. Mandy Rose, she was decent, you know, I like Mandy Rose, but um, I think she got injured by Nia Jax. I did Central Man's Gossip and Talk this uh, week, I think it was on Wednesday, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't understand why they did that, it's total bullshit, you know, we got five crap wrestlers on... Team Raw, you know, instead of Shanna Baszler, Nia Jax, Lacey Evans, Peyton Royce, and Lana. Lana's shit. Lacey Evans, she's overrated, you know. If you like her, hey, more power to you. Peyton Royce is shit. I, I, I hate the Iconics, they're so annoying. Um, anyway, um, Team SmackDown, you've got good workers. Uh, Bianca, Ruby, Liv, she's decent. If Natal was in Team SmackDown, she's... Good, but she's past the prime. Tamina is shit. Moving on to the men's 5 on 5 Survivor Series match. Team Raw vs Team Smackdown. Represent Team Raw. We got AJ Styles, Braun Strowman, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle, and Sheamus. Representing Smackdown. We got King Corbin, Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, Seth Rollins, and the fifth and final member of Team Smackdown to be announced. Um, I don't want to see Undertaker in Team Smackdown because what's the point retire after the Boneyard match at Wrestlemania 36 part 1 what's really the point I want to see Undertaker showing up but not in a match for me I'm gonna go with Daniel Bryan um, I'm gonna go with but, but it's very difficult I'm gonna go with Team Raw getting the victory so anyway so hope you enjoy my predictions for Survivor Series 2020 Leave your thoughts on the comment section below, smash the like button, and subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. The review of Survivor Series 2020 will be this Monday, so stick around. This is the Central Man officially signing out. Check you later.